Oh, hi there. Okay, so um, like I said, I have separated the lateral rotators of the um, rotator cuff muscles, and now this time it's the um, medial uh, rotators of the rotator cuff muscles. Okay, just to just to uh, separate them, categorize them, because it's sorry, I want to be because it's really best if you do that if you're studying. So you read the whole book, and then you um you understand first like sectionalize it and absorb that you need to put lots of time you need to say no to a lot of people right you know and to be honest if you have lots of friends then you have to like really um close uh, for the time being some you know put lots of time in study and you will have to um um more so um, spend more time with the people that you're studying with right which is normal because you you know if you're say you're, you're a student with with kids with family or a business you need to put time into that so there's really no room for other things right so if you want to put in time you really have to learn how to say no not no to god because that should be the first and everything follows but when you're in the study studying um because to say you know you have social you know attachment to all the medias that will be um distraction you can have to even to to reply to them saying okay yes that's a lot like everyone um it's better like you, you explain to them look you know um i don't think i can be able to be that friend right now but i've always been a friend explain that learn to say no right so now, um, and categorize, so that's the whole point, because I'm trying to simplify, you organize it into your brain, how your brain's going to um, absorb all of this, because it's a lot of information, right? We all know, being a therapist, you're at least four years of, um, you know, um, like, you know how, like, doctors have seven years. Uh, being a therapist, you need to have at least four uh, levels of uh, anatomy and physiology, right? And then they just... But anyways, right, so there's a lot of information. And on top of that, right, being a therapist and, and you know, kinesiology is big too. But going back to the two uh, muscles that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be talking about today is the teres medier and the subscapularis. Okay, I'm going to start with the subscapularis. The action is medially rotating the shoulder. It also stabilizes the head of the humerus and, and the glenoid cavity. Okay, the origin is the subscapular fossa of the scapula. Um, the insertion is at the lesser tubercle of the humerus. Okay, so nerve innervation is the upper and lower subscapular C5, C6, and C7. The action is the uh, immediately rotate your shoulder. Okay, so keep that in mind. So now I'm going to be talking about the teres major. Okay, so action, it extends the shoulder. It adducts the shoulder and it immediately rotate the shoulder. The origin is in the inferior angle and lower one-third of lateral border of the scapula. Okay? Okay. Uh, insertion is the crest of the lesser tubercle of the humerus. I feel like my head's... If I do... Because there's no... Yeah, yeah, I think I'm pointing on the right one. Anyways, um, it's this insertion my, my eyes are okay so nerve innervation will be lower subscapular c5 c6 and c7 so basically you have to keep this in mind it does uh, extend and medially rotate okay extend why because it's at the back and it medially rotate because where it attaches to okay so i'm going to do another video that's all together 